Okay. I have to tell you, it's really hard not to want to share and show everybody what we're working on. And I've been working, we've been working as a team on this one for many months at this point. And I'm so excited to finally be able to let the cat out of the bag on the new Mojave saddle bag. Um, I rode many miles testing prototypes. I took a more or less final prototype um, to Nepal, rode with it every single day in Nepal. Uh, it performed flawlessly. We made only a couple minor adjustments. Um, and here is the production version. So um, really excited about the updated shape and the roll top access that we've done here so so much easier to get gear in and out now and it's so much more usable packable volume as well um you know the old shape ha had uh, had these very tapered corners at the back um which um wasn't like particularly useful packable space so um, much easier to get in and out. The other benefit here is that this is all RF welded. So much as we've done with, with our tank bags in terms of using a combination of RF welding and sewing, um, we applied that same hybrid construction here. So this is all RF welded, um, no needle holes through the fabrics, which means that these seams are 100% waterproof. Give it one, two, three good rolls, fasten it down, and that's gonna keep everything nice and dry. Um, whereas the previous version, we used water-resistant zippers. So th this is a, is a really nice upgrade. Um, we left uh, uh, the, the webbing here to as uh, attachments, so you can attach a Postles pouch, a Revel Stoke, a Rogue dry bag. Um, for expanded capacity on um, even a overnight camping trip. We, we've seen people get out uh, with the Mojave doing that. Uh, armadillo bag if you need a little extra fuel. Um, so you can use the webbing or I like to just go all the way under the base layer with the straps and to strap things down to the top middle section here. Um, some nice clean little pass-throughs for the included um, pronghorn strap. It also includes uh, two of our new fender hooks, uh, but because I've got the giant loop tail rack installed here, I am taking advantage of that as my quick and easy anchor point. So I don't need fender hooks or other mounting options. Another really nice little feature here that, uh, that we added to the, this updated version are these um, strap keepers. So uh, unlike the elastic uh, strap keepers, which uh, can sometimes get separated from the straps and loss, these are actually sewn in and integrated. So after you've get, gotten your uh, mounting straps, uh, anchor straps tightened down, you gather up the excess and just wrap them up with the hook and loop to hold them uh, tightly in place there. Um, Another nice upgrade, these beautiful, super strong, lightweight aluminum hooks uh, to attach additional gear here or a Postles pouch. Uh, we've added little lash tabs so that you can run the Postles pouch uh, right strapped here to the side, then compress it tight with these straps. Um, nice little reflective tab on the back for visibility. Um, the new reflective neutral colored logoing. So there you have it, uh, the Mojave Saddlebag. You know, the Mojave was, let's see, our third, fourth saddlebag that we designed here at Giant Loop. Uh, actually, no, it was, it was third in line because there's the original Giant Loop Saddlebag, the bolt-on one. And then uh, we came out with the Great Basin saddlebag. And then we came out with the Mojave. And, you know, because the Mojave's uh, oriented toward a day of riding, um, it's actually um, proven to be one of our top selling uh, bags because 
uh, most of us get out for day rides uh, more frequently than we're able to take longer trips. So there it is, the new Mojave Saddlebag, available for pre-order now uh, in black or gray. This, of course, is the gray version. So go light, go fast, go far, go ride, and thank you for riding with Giant Loop.